This video will guide you through the installation of the M670 and M680 series MagnaLock. You'll see the use of a new plastic template for a fast and easy install of the bracket-mounted MagnaLock. Have the following installation tools ready. Before mounting the MagLock, configure the dip switches and jumpers. It's much easier to do that on the table than when it's mounted. Remove the two screws that secure the cover to the lock and set these aside. You'll need them to reattach the cover later. This MagnaLock series has been designed with several user adjustable settings. Let's go through each setting. Disable the LED indicator. The default factory setting is enabled. If you'd like to disable the LED, remove the jumper on JP4. Change the color of the LED indicator. The LED can display two colors, green and red. You can select which color to display when the magnet is locked. The default setting is red when the magnet is locked and green when the magnet is unlocked. If you'd like to switch these colors, remove the jumper on JP5. Set the tamper select mode. The M680 includes a tamper switch that can indicate when the cover is removed. The default setting is normally closed. The tamper select circuit will remain closed when the cover is on and will open when the cover is removed. You can select normally open behavior by changing jumper JP1 from pins 1-2 to pins 2-3. Additional features can be set on some models. Set the door position mode. The M680 includes a door position switch that will send a signal when the door is closed. The default setting is normally closed, meaning the door position circuit will close when the door is closed. You can select normally open behavior by changing jumper JP3 from pins 1-2 to pins 2-3. Enable an auto relock delay and set the delay time. The M680 includes a configurable auto relock delay timer. The timer is disabled by default. To enable the delay timer, locate dip switch SW2 and change switch 4 to the on position. Now the delay timer is enabled. Delay times are set using switch 1 and switch 2. Follow this chart to set the delay. Set the request to exit signal mode. Some models of the M680 include a request to exit contact that can send a signal to the access control system. The default setting is normally open, meaning the request to exit signal is open and will close when a request to exit is made. You can choose normally closed by changing jumper JP2 from pins 1-2 to pins 2-3. Fill out the label so if the lock ever needs service, the maintenance personnel will know how it's configured. Place the label on the inside of the cover. Remove three additional screws that secure the lock to the mounting bracket and set these aside as well. Slide the mounting bracket over and remove it from the top of the lock chassis. Pinch and insert the plastic spacers flush into the dovetail slots of the lock mounting bracket. These will allow you to position the armature plate correctly on the door. Use masking tape to protect the door and frame while drilling. Maintain a 7 8 inch clearance from the frame edge for installation or removal of lock in either direction. It's very important to make sure the door is tightly closed. Place the lock bracket on the secure side of the door and against the frame stop in the location you want to mount your lock. Adjust the bracket so the spacers rest against the closed door. Mark the two slotted bracket mounting holes. Also mark the frame for one half inch diameter wire feed through hole at the end closest to where you'll access the wire run. If you're installing a camera equipped model, make a second wire feed through hole. The camera hole should be five eighths inch diameter. These holes should be towards the rear edge of the mounting bracket and touch the end of the bracket. Set the bracket aside for now. Punch the frame at bracket mounting hole marks. Drill two three eighths inch diameter holes. Make sure not to oversize the hole. Next is the blind nut installation in the 3 8 inch holes. Hold the blind nut with a 1 half inch box end wrench. Keep pressure on the mounting surface while using a 3 16 inch hex wrench or allen wrench to tighten the cap screw and collapse the blind nut. It's very important to make sure the blind nut is flush with the frame so the mounting bracket sits perfectly against the frame. If you're installing on a wood door frame, drill two holes 3 16 inch in diameter by one and a quarter inch deep at the bracket mounting hole marks. Drill one half inch wire access holes as needed on one or both sides of the bracket. If installing a camera equipped model, drill a five eighths inch diameter hole for those cables. The next step is to temporarily secure the bracket to the frame. The mounting holes are slotted in the bracket so it allows for some play. 
After you install the strike plate and align the lock, you'll tighten up the bracket on the frame. With spacers against the closed door, use a Phillips screwdriver to install the bracket. Now for the strike or armature plate installation. Close the door and place the template between the bracket spacers. Mark the three strike hole locations. Drill three holes in the door for the strike, one for the sex bolt and two for the roll pins. At the strike mounting center mark, drill one 3 8 inch diameter hole for the sex bolt through the door. Drill one 3 8 inch diameter hole one inch deep at each side mark for the strike alignment roll pins. Be careful not to drill through the door. And now for the outside of the door. For a hollow metal door, drill out the 3 8 inch diameter strike mounting hole up to 1 half inch diameter in the outer wall only. For a solid wood door, drill out the 3 8 inch diameter strike mounting hole to 1 half inch diameter completely through. Insert a roll pin into each of the holes in back of the strike. Tap into place using a hammer. Here's a tip. Cover the sex bolt with a piece of cardboard to protect the finish while tapping it into place with a hammer. Pass the screw through the strike, insert two neoprene washers, apply the threading compound to the flat head socket screw, and place on the door and into the sex bolt. Align the strike plate on the inside of the door. Use a 3 16 inch hex wrench or Allen wrench to tighten the screw into the sex bolt. Don't over tighten. Allow the strike to pivot on the washers so the magnet can latch properly. Next, you adjust the location of the bracket with a lock and strike. Loosen the two screws that secure the mounting bracket to the frame so the bracket can move. Slide the lock onto the mounting bracket. Make sure the bracket spacers are removed. Gently close the door to test the fit of the strike with the door closed. The entire face should make contact with the strike plate when the door is closed. Mark the back edge of the mounting bracket and then remove the lock from the bracket in order to finish installing the bracket. Ensure the mounting bracket aligns with the marks, then tighten the mounting screws with a Phillips screwdriver. There are four remaining holes in the mounting bracket for the self-tapping screws. Use bracket countersink holes as a guide to drill the four holes in the frame. Use a Phillips screwdriver to install the anchor screws. From either end of the mounting bracket, slide the lock chassis to the center of the bracket. Secure the lock chassis to the mounting bracket using three 632 by 3 quarter inch panhead screws and a Phillips screwdriver. Pull wiring through wire feed holes drilled in frame. Make connections to the terminal strips on the PC board. You may need to strip the wires before feeding into the terminal block. For more detailed wiring diagrams, contact Securitron Tech Support at 1-800-MAGLOCK. Camera equipped models connect easily with a standard BNC cable. If installing motion detector equipped models, the request to exit should be enabled at DIP switch SW2 switch 5. After installation and wiring are complete, install the lock covering using the two Phillips screws removed in the first step. Make sure not to pinch any wiring. If installing motion detector equipped models, the PIR motion detector can be adjusted for a hallway or door approach. If you have questions or problems with the installation, call Securitron at 1-800-MAGLOCK to speak with our expert tech support.